In this video, we are going to discuss about cell wall. What is exactly cell wall is? Cell wall is, as we can say, it is outermost boundary of the cell. That means it protects the cell of the plants. So it is outermost boundary. That means it is protective in nature. It uh, protects it from adverse environmental conditions. So, it is a, a protective mechanism in case of plant cells. Robert Hooke was a person who first time observed it under the a very cruel simple microscope he only used that is the plano concave lenses. With the help of these plano concave lenses, he observed this outermost boundary of the cell. Exactly what he observed, he observed the outermost wall that is the cell wall and uh, he observed it by slicing the Spanish oak bark and these fine slices of oak bark he observed under a very good microscope which, he, which was only made up of plano concave lenses. He, in this observation, he find out that cell wall or a plant cell is like this. He observed like this. He observed exactly the outermost boundary of the cell like this. And these are nothing, these are the, these are these outermost boundaries which he called the word, which he called as a cell wall. And he used the word cella for uh, describing the compartment which is basically forming the plant. So exactly plant is composed of very very tiny small compartments or room that he called it cella and he finally finally observed only the outermost boundary that we call as cell wall. Cell wall is most we can say it is primary, it's secondary, it's tertiary cell wall. But only we can say yes, primary cell wall is universal cell wall because this universal cell wall is present in all plants. It is present in uh, your gymnosperm, angiosperm, bryophyte, teratophyte, everywhere in every plant cell primary cell wall is present but in secondary cell wall it is the second most that means from outside to inside it is second most and it is thick and below that is innermost one tertiary cell wall but this tertiary cell wall is not present everywhere in all plant cells it is only present in case of gymnosperm and basically tracheids of gymnosperm where we find only the tracheids or simply your tertiary cell wall but tertiary cell wall is do not found any other cells but primary cell wall is everywhere in plants this primary cell wall is outermost one thing it is thin very delicate it's not very tough not very rigid it is elastic in nature it is composed of cellulose, hemicellulose and pectin. So most of the question asked, what is the composition of primary cell wall? So we can say yes, it is composed of cellulose, hemicellulose and pectin. This primary cell wall is present everywhere. It is present in all meristematic shells or meristematic tissues which are rapidly dividing cells. For example, at the apices of root, at the apices of shoot, where there is a rapid growth or rapid cell division. So these cells which are found in marismatic region, they have primary cell wall, but secondary cell wall, which is below the primary cell wall, it is thick. As compared to primary, it is thick. It is rigid because of more deposition of lignin and pectin substances which make it a tough and rigid and a thick. Composed of cellulose, hemicellulose and pectin also. But the important thing is here, the secondary cell wall we do not find in meristematic cells or tissues because they have to divide and this thick secondary cell wall oppose this division. 
and important thing also here this secondary cell wall is further because it is thick so it is multi layer it is three layer it is as one outermost secondary one then we have secondary two and then we have secondary three so s1 s2 s3 after primary cell wall we have secondary s1 then we have s2 and then we have s3 so these three cell wall constitutely form secondary cell wall and below it only in case of gymnosperm sacs of gymnosperm tertiary cell wall is formed or present any other cases we have we do not found it and it is composed of hemicellulose and there is hair also but another component is xylem so xylem is also here so we can say yes the plant is composed of plant cells and these plant cells are covered by protective cell wall which is a uh, main function protection and this plant this cell wall is outermost one primary then we have secondary one secondary two secondary three and then only in case of gymnosperm tracheids we have a tertiary cell wall most time question is asked like this what is the sequence of the cell walls in plant cell from outside to inside that be from your middle lamella to the cytoplasmic side or the plasma membrane side or from plasma membrane side to the middle lamella so we have to remember that the sequence is like this primary then we find secondary one then we have secondary two then we have secondary three and only in this case of gymnosperm we find tertiary right this is from middle lamella side this is from periphery side to this is your innermost one so from periphery that means outer one or from we can say from the middle lamella side middle lamella is nothing it is the uh, boundary it is the cementing material which is present between the two cells so from outside the primary secondary one secondary two secondary three and then tertiary in case of gymnosperm and we are talking about from inner side to outside tertiary s3 s2 s1 and then primary so this is a little bit information about the cell wall and we will study later on a more details of cell wall how this formation takes place what is the composition what is its deposition methods what are its used in the next video keep watching